Hi everybody, welcome back to Cantonese Food Recipes. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make some delicious coconut buns like these. If you want to make some of these buns, continue watching this video. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, you can write it down in the, you can give us a comment down below our video. Okay, let's get, let's start making these delicious coconut buns. Okay guys, let's start off with the dough recipe. Let me show you guys uh, what we're doing first. First, I'm gonna add in 500 grams of cake flour. Then I'm gonna add in 200 grams of milk powder. Over here, I've got uh, 10 grams of instant yeast. I'm gonna add in 100 grams of caster sugar. I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of salt. Okay, now we have our dry ingredients. I'm gonna use a whisk and just whisk up all the ingredients together. Just give it a good one to two minutes to whisk up the ingredients. Okay, first I'm gonna start off with 400 moles of warm water. We might need more when we dough mix this. Okay, now put on your dough mixer and just mix this up. And then we will see if we need to add more water. Okay, let's mix this up. I'm gonna start with the, on the lowest speed. We want to don't mix this for about 10 minutes. Okay, from the look of it, it doesn't look like it needs much water. Okay guys, from the look of it, it looks like it's too wet. So I'm gonna add in about I'm going to add in uh, 100 grams more of uh, cake flour. Okay, let's add that in. Add that in. Don't mix this again. We'll just take the dough off this dough hook. As you can see, the dough is very sticky and gooey, guys. We don't want like a thick dough because if you want a thick dough you end up with very dry bread so yeah this kind of gooiness is correct now we can add in the 50 grams of margarine okay over here i've got 50 grams just put it there okay guys now when we don't need this we just don't need this at the lowest speed we don't want to fuse the the margarine into the dough so Okay, let's do this on the lowest speed. Just slowly fuse that margarine into the dough slowly for about one, two to three minutes and then it's done. Then we can just cover this and cling wrap it and let it rise for about two hours. Okay guys, let me show you guys uh, how to make the coconut filling for our bread. So first I'm gonna add in uh, some coconut, shredded coconut, 250 grams. Now we're gonna add in the caster sugar. What the sugar, so if it's 250, I'm gonna add about half, so 120 grams. No coconut buns, is all sugary taste. Okay, now use the, use a whisk. Use a whisk and then just uh, whisk it up into the coconut. Okay, now, now finally here I've got 50 uh, more grams of uh, margarine that I've melted. Just gonna pour that over it as well. Now give it a good mix as well. Okay, give that a good mix. And then here I've got one egg. Just gonna crack it here. Just gonna whisk up the egg as well. Okay, once the egg is whisked, we can add it into our coconut as well. Add it into coconut and just give it a good mix as well. Okay guys, so this is our coconut filling. We can just cling wrap this and put it in the fridge. Wait for two hours, then we can... I'll show you guys how I will form the coconut dough before we gonna oven it. Okay guys, after two hours, check it out though. Check it out. It's risen so big. 
Okay, let's, let's make this uh, coconut buns. Also got our filling here. Okay, first I'm gonna flour the surface. We're gonna be rolling the dough flat, so flour the, the, the surface everywhere. Okay, very good. It's not sticky or anything. Look at that. Okay, now we're gonna sprinkle some flour on top as well. It will stick. Okay. Just give it a good flatten. Okay, before we roll it, just uh, wrap it up and give it a good knead. Just to press out all the air out. Okay, just form it in a good shape. More flour to the surface. Put it around. Okay, now we can roll it out flat. Rolling pan, also just give it a good flour here. Okay, roll it out flat, guys. Very flat. Put it on all that fully. Hey guys, it's, it's, it's about right. Okay, now we've got our coconut filling here. We're just gonna spread it all around. Almost look like we're making a pizza here. Maybe we have some coconut. Okay, just like that. And then we can put it onto our tray. Guys, you can form any shape and sizes you like for your coconut buns. Just when it rises, I think it'll look very nice when we do it like this method. Okay guys, so as you can see I've done all of them. Now we're just gonna use a towel and cover them and let it rise for about 
20 to 30 minutes before we put it in the oven. Okay guys, we have let our coconut buns rest for about 30 minutes. Let's check them out. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. Then rise a little bit. Now, over here I just cracked one egg. Just gotta give it a good egg wash. And while that's happening, we already preheated our oven at oh no, 180 degrees Celsius. So let's just give this a good egg wash. Okay, looks very good. Okay guys, so let's place it into our oven. Okay, the oven is set to 180 degrees. Okay, we'll let this uh, oven for about 20 minutes, but just keep an eye on it or else it will burn. Okay guys, 20 minutes is up. Let's check out our buns. Ooh, wow, look at them. Ooh, wow. Let me put them on our tray here. Hmm. That. Okay guys, so I have taken them off my tray and put them onto my cooling rack. I'm um, just got here, got some melted butter, just dip it out and just give it a quick glaze. Quick glaze on top. 